Hello everybody, I'm Mark Novotarski, producer of the PBS broadcast Battles, Bouts and Brawls, the story of pro wrestling in Detroit and its surrounding areas. And right there folks is Kobo Arena, or excuse me, it's what was once known as Kobo Arena. Kobo Arena no longer exists, as you and I may recall. No more wrestling events, no more concerts, no more sporting events. It's a part of the past. And that in itself is just one more reason why you should get Battles, Bouts, and Brawls, the two DVD disc set. You know, there are over 30 participants in the program of Battles, Bouts, and Brawls, and there are some people that once they found out they weren't in it, took great issue with that. Among them, the taskmaster himself, Kevin Sullivan, a man that has a history like no other professional in the world of wrestling today. He himself has some memories about the Sheik and Detroit wrestling. Mr. Engineer, please tune that up. I went to see the Sheik wrestle, the building moved completely. That is what wanted me, me to become a professional wrestler. This was the greatest heel of all times. I was lucky enough to call him a friend and an opponent. When the Sheik started wrestling, he started the original hardcore. There's nobody, that, there's no such thing as hardcore anymore except for Terry Funk. Not belittling anybody else's work. But this was the master and Terry was the master student, and I gotta say one more, Sabu. Sabu took after his uncle. So, the, this tape is gonna bring back plenty of pleasant memories for people, and people that have forgot who he was and how he set this business need to get this tape. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was Kevin Sullivan, the taskmaster himself, recalling some of his memories of the Sheik and Detroit wrestling. Now you can be in possession of Battles, Bouts, and Brawls. Go to insent.net, where it says click here, click here. And within a matter of days, you too can be in possession of Battles, Bouts, and Brawls. You can be in possession of the Sheik, wrestling's greatest villain, the award-winning PBS broadcast, J.W. Westcott, and any number of other things that are on the site. INSENT.net. Hobo Arena no longer exists. You've got to keep that memory in telling the story so that you can add that to your memories of Detroit wrestling. INSENT.net. I'm Mark Novotarski. Thank you.